Hi guys, Johnny here again and welcome back to another gear reviews video. Uh, in this video today we're going to look at some of the new range of Sims packs. They're everything from chest packs and hip packs to sling packs and rucksacks as well. So let's take a look. Now I thought we'd start with uh, the smaller pieces in the range and then work our way up to the big rucksack. So the first piece that I want to take a look at today is the new Sims Freestone Chest Pack. So the Freestone Chest Pack is one for you guys out there who like to keep on the move and stay really lightweight, carrying everything you need on your person. Uh, it has a couple of ways that you can attach it to yourself. So you've got these loops at the back here that you can uh, attach around a wading belt, for instance, or otherwise you've got a waist strap and a sort of over the top strap, both of which are removable. So nice and comfortable when it's on. You've got two main pockets, which let you organize your tackle. So within these pockets, you've got nice dividers, uh, stretchy pockets so you can get things like fly boxes and, and, uh, and other bits and pieces in there. Got a loop on the outside here which will let you store spools of tippet so they're always outside of the pack, nice and handy to reach. And you've got a nice Velcro fly drying patch as well so let those flies dry off before you pop them back in your box. Now one of the features I really like about the Freestone chest pack are these two slots that you have on the side here. And these are designed for you to be able to slip your forceps in there so they're easy to reach when you have to unhook a fish, you don't have to go rummaging around. They're also magnetized, so if I just show you, put those forceps on the outside there, you can see them sticking. That's not how you're meant to use it, but it does give you a bit of added security because once your forceps are slotted in, you know that there's also a magnet in there holding them in place, so they're never gonna come out. Great little feature. Now the next two items that I want to take a look at in the range are both hip packs. So we have two in the new Sims Freestone range. One is the standard Freestone hip pack, which is a 12 litre. And the second one is the tactical hip pack, which is a 6 litre version. Now both of these feature that nifty little magnetic forcep holding system that I mentioned with the chest pack. So it's a nice feature that carries through the range. Uh, but the main difference really with these two is capacity, obviously. So the Freestone Tactical Hip Pack is a lot lighter version. You're not going to get as much gear in there, but it will let you be a bit more mobile. You've got two main pockets, again, with some different compartments for you to organize your kit. And you have a little zip pocket on the front there. Now the main Freestone Hip Pack, the 12 litre version, obviously gives you a lot more capacity than the tactical one. So this is one for you guys out there who want to carry a number of different fly boxes and quite a bit of kit for you uh, for your day out on the water. You could even get a lightweight waterproof jacket stuffed in here. So you've got one main front pocket, again with different uh, compartments for you to organize kit, a zip pocket on the front. With this version you also get a very large main pocket which opens with a zip there and there's also a magnetic fastener there for a bit of extra security when you open it. Now within this main pocket there is loads of space to get a number of different fly boxes in there, bottle of water, lunge, as I said even a lightweight jacket so much more capacity there. Now one important feature that I've noticed that both of the hip packs and indeed the chest pack have is the way that the zips on these opening uh, flap pockets do not go all the way down which is really important so you don't run the risk of things falling out if you, uh, if you zip it too far. So even if you're on uh, unsteady ground or you lose your footing, because the zips don't go all the way down you're going to minimize the risk of losing any little bits of kit that you have in the bottom there. Nice feature. Now next up in the range, going up in size again from the, uh, the hip packs, are two sling packs, the tactical version and the standard version. Tactical version is a 15 litre capacity, whereas the larger one is 18 litres. Now both of these are packed with pockets and features as you would expect, slightly more on the larger version and the tactical version a little bit lighter on features. So really it's up to you, decide how much gear you're likely to take out on the water with you and choose the uh, one that fits your needs best. You've got all those carry through features like your tippet spool loops and the magnetic forcep holders. And really the key thing about this is that these are ambidextrous. So no matter if you're a left-handed or a right-handed fly caster, you can set it up so it's comfortable and suited to you. Now the last piece that I want to take a look at is the big daddy of the range. And it is this one, the Freestone Rucksack. This is a 35 litre rucksack. So 
for carrying a lot of gear with you for a day's fishing or even if you're doing a bit more of an exploratory fishing adventure so you're camping and you're overnighting you're fishing multiple days great backpack for that sort of thing now personally i quite like fishing with a backpack i sort of have a habit of carrying perhaps a bit more gear than I need for a day, but that's just how I fish and I, I quite like it. Take extra layers of clothing and bottles and all that sort of stuff as well in one bag. So I'd even use this for just one day's fishing, maybe reservoir bank fishing when you're, when you're walking all around a large body of water. Now one thing I always personally look for in a backpack is how it feels against your back. If you're gonna be wearing it all day or a lot of the time, it's really crucial that it's nice and comfortable and you don't get hot and sweaty. Now something that the Freestone rucksack has which addresses this problem perfectly is this rigid but flexible aerated back panel. So when you're wearing it on your back the material of the backpack itself is not sitting against your back. You've got a breathable mesh material that keeps some airflow around you much more comfortable and not hot and sweaty. It's a great feature that I look for in any fishing backpack, so great to see that this has it. So hopefully this short video today has given you a nice overview of our new range of Sims packs and bags. Some great bits of kit here from the chest packs to the hip packs, sling packs and that larger rucksack as well. Thanks a lot for watching today. Remember you can find all of these online at sportfish.co.uk.